this is pretty crazy. An abstract to your research paper in less than one minute that is actually really, really good. So if you've been struggling to write an abstract for your research paper, let me show you how you can do this using ChatGPT. And also let me show you how then you need to rework that abstract in order to make it better and make it fit the particular journal and the particular study that you're doing. So let's dive right in and see how this is done. So there's been a lot of hype about ChatGPT and AI writing tools recently. So I thought I would jump in and tell you how to actually use it properly. Because like any tool, you can use it in the completely wrong way and for wrong purposes and get the wrong results. And ultimately, I want you to succeed and I want you to publish papers in high impact journals and that's why I'm doing these videos. So in this video, I wanna show you how to write an abstract for your research paper in less than one minute using chat GPT and then how to rework that abstract in just a couple of minutes in order to make it better, make it fit your study and get it ready to send to a journal. And if you're new here and you're wondering who I am, my name is Marek Kiczkowek and I run Academic English Now where we help PhD students and researchers regularly publish papers in top Scopus Index journals. Now, before we dive into chat GPT specifically, let me just very quickly run you over the structure of an abstract because this is going to come really handy when we are reviewing what chat GPT gave us, right? So think of an abstract as basically, you know, a 200 word summary of your entire paper. And it's got to have exactly the same sections as your research paper does. So typically, it's around 200 words, as I said, and the first sentence will state the importance of the topic, and very often also the research gap right? And then the second sentence will present the aim of the paper. And then the following two sentences approximately will present the methodology or the materials and methods. And then the following approximately two sentences will present the most important results. And the last sentence of the abstract basically, you know, gives us the main takeaway message from your study that the really key result or the key contribution of your study, that's usually the last sentence of your abstract. Now, so with that knowledge, let's dive into ChatGPT, see what it gives us, and then see how we need to rework it to get your abstract ready and then publish your research paper. Right, so the, the first thing that you can do with ChatGPT if you want to write an abstract, you can just tell ChatGPT to, you know, to write an abstract for a research paper based on the title of the paper that you've got, right? This is what I, what I did here and you saw at the beginning of the video. Now, let's compare how good this abstract is to the actual abstract, right? Because when, when I look at it, just written like this, and I mean, this is just based on the title, like the chat GPT didn't even read the whole article. Like this is, this is very good, I would say. You know, it's got, a, it's got a clear aim, right? And it tells us what the study is about, right? There is a little bit of the methodology as well. And there's even a little bit about findings, right? And then there's a conclusion. So like the overall structure of this abstract is really good. Like in all fairness, like, you know, you would wish that all abstracts were so clearly structured if I'm, if I'm honest with you, right? There are problems with this abstract, but when it comes to the structure, this is really well structured, to be honest. So let's now compare it to like the original abstract, see what the problems are with this one generated by ChatGPT, and let's see how we can continue making this abstract better in ChatGPT. So I've, I've got it for you on the screen. On the left-hand side, um, this abstract is the original abstract of the published um, paper. And then this one on the right-hand side, we've got the first version of the abstract written by ChatGPT. Mind you, just based on the title, right? Um, so what are some of the main differences, right? So you can see that, you know, the original abstract starts with a sentence that introduces the importance of the topic. And then we've got the research gap. ChatGPT doesn't do that, right? It just straight away goes into the aim of the paper. Um, 
and the aim is kind of stated twice in the first and in the second sentence, right? So that's the first problem. Like, you know, usually in abstract, you want to start it with the introduction of the main topic, why this topic is important, and then stating the research gap, which gives justification for your study, right? Now, the second thing to note is that, you know, if we look at this aim, right, it's much more specific and it includes stuff about the methodology as well, which chat GPT doesn't do, right? Um, chat GPT is much more vague with the aim. If we look at what it says here, it just says that like, you know, it examines some course books, you know, educational and professional backgrounds. It's just much more vague, right? Um, in here, you know, we've got like which specific publishers were examined, how many course books, right? How, um, and so on and how many authors and things like that, right? So much, much more specific, right? Um, there is some bits about methodology here, but again, it's slightly vague, right? The same thing that vagueness applies to the findings, right? Um, so this is one sentence only that ChatGPT generated in terms of findings, and it's very, very vague, right? It's not a bad sentence per se. It's, you know, probably grammatically correct and whatnot, but it's very vague. If we look at, you know, what you want to write in an abstract is something like this, right? We've got two sentences in here, and typically, you know, the results in an abstract will be two sentences. And notice how specific it is, right? There are specific numbers, 90%, 78%, and so on. It's very, it presents, you know, the most important results, but we are very, very specific, right? Um, and I think that the conclusion of the, of the abstract that ChatGPT wrote isn't bad at all. I should also bear in mind that ChatGPT only got the title of the paper and nothing else, right? But again, it's slightly vague, you know? It just, you know, the paper concludes with recommendations for something, right? What I'd want to see, like, is a more uh, specific recommendation, right? Um, and this is what is done in the original abstract in here, right? So overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would I rate this abstract? I, I would probably give it like a five or a six, to be honest with you, because it, it's got like most of the major elements. It's got the clear aim. It's got some methodology. It's got the main result and it's got some conclusion as well. Right. But it's vague and it's missing the research gap. So now we would want to improve this abstract. Right. And now I want to show you how you can make this chat GPT abstract better in several different steps. So stick around until the end of the video. Uh, because I'm going to show you step by step how you can get this abstract just using chat GPT and the draft paper that you've written and how to make it really, really good so that you can actually submit it to a paper. So let's dive right in. So I mentioned that, you know, this app first abstract generated by chat GPT lacks specificity. It lacks the research gap. And that's because, you know, we haven't given chat GPT much to go with, right? We just gave it the title. So what we want to do now is provide it with some more information, right? So if you're writing the abstract, you've probably got a full draft of your paper. So what we can do is we can feed chat GPT with the introduction that you've written to your paper. And we can ask chat GPT to do this. Right, so it took ChatGPT maybe 10 seconds to do that, right? So let's look at this abstract now, this second abstract, side by side with the original abstract of the published paper and see how this is already so much better. So you might remember that the first version of the abstract by ChatGPT, it lacked specificity and it lacked the research gap. Now, when we fed it the introduction to the paper, it got so much better, right? And um, if we look at the aim of the paper, notice how much more specific it is, right? Um, it tells us exactly what is being investigated here. It even tells us like which publishers specifically are being investigated. So it's much, much more specific, right? Um, you know, we've, we've got like the main um, results um, in here and the results are getting very, very specific, right? notice that we've got like specific numbers, which I mentioned that, that the first abstract did not have at all, right? So this is, this is really good, right? 
And we've got like a much more specific sort of discussion in here, meaning like what these results actually suggest, right? So this is really good, right? Uh, this conclusion is still a little bit vague, right? Um, as we mentioned last time, but we're going to improve it, right? So this is version two, right? How would I grade it on a scale of one to 10? I'd definitely give it a seven or maybe even an eight. It's, it's very good, right? It's got a very clear aim. Um, we've got very clear results. We've got a very clear discussion of those results. Now, what we're missing um, a little bit here is perhaps some more stuff about the methodology and a clearer conclusion, right? So let's come back to ChatGPT and let's see how we can improve this abstract. So what I'm going to suggest to ChatGPT, like, I mean, I know that it lacks the research gap in the first sentence, and I'd really like to see that. So I'm just gonna suggest it that ChatGPT adds it. Now, what, what, what do you think? <laughs> I, I think this is, this is really good. I'm having so much fun here, right? So it, it just added like this really good research gap, right? Um, there is a dearth of research on, and it's actually true. I mean, I know this topic very well, and I wrote this paper myself, and I published it in a Q1 journal. Th this is actually true. Like, ChatGPT is not making stuff up. Now, one thing that I did here is to make a specific suggestion to ChatGPT, right? First, I fed it some information before, like I gave it the introduction to the paper, and now I gave it like a really specific suggestion. That's what you've got to do. That's why, you know, I explained to you before how abstracts are written, because if you know how an abstract should be written, right, you can make better suggestions for ChatGPT, right? Um, and those better suggestions will result ultimately in a better abstract. So I knew the first sentence needs to have the research gap before the aim. So that's why I told what I told um, ChatGPT to do. Now, I still think that, like, that the conclusion is really, really vague in here. So let's do something about the conclusion. Um, we can now feed ChatGPT the conclusion that was written for this paper and see how ChatGPT can improve the abstract. So I've tried feeding ChatGPT the, the conclusion to the paper, um, but I think it misunderstood what it was supposed to do. And it actually just like wrote a different abstract, which is more like a conclusion. So you've got to be careful, you know, in terms of what you tell ChatGPT to do. So then I thought what I would do next is to just tell ChatGPT to improve the abstract. It produced this. So if we now take this abstract and compare it to the original, so this is version three of the abstract written by uh, ChatGPT here. And, you know, this is, this is really good, like, to be honest with you, uh, I must say. It's, it's very, very good, right? We've got a clear research gap. We've got a clear aim of the study as well, uh, with methodology already included in the aim. We've got very clear main findings, right, um, as well in here. And then we've got a pretty good conclusion, I would say, you know, so like I mentioned that the previous conclusions were rather vague. This is much, much more specific, right? And if we compare it to this abstract, I mean, the only difference is the length, right? This is 175 words and this is 100 uh, 45 words, right? So that's why, you know, perhaps it lacks a little bit more detail maybe about the results, right? But overall, you know, I would give this abstract already like eight or nine out of 10, you know, it's really good. And it's written by Chad GPT. So what do you need to do in order to write a good abstract yourself using Chad GPT? The number one thing I think, and it's really important is that you understand the structure of the abstract. And I explained it in this video. I've got another video as well where I discuss it in much more detail. But this is really important because if you, if you saw the process that I went through, like the first abstract written by ChatGPT wasn't great. But because I knew exactly how an abstract should be structured, I knew which elements were lacking, which elements were insufficient. 
and I could give clues to ChatGPT how to make the abstract better. So you need to know how to structure an abstract overall, right? That's, that's the first thing. And then the second thing, you've got to step-by-step -step feed ChatGPT with more information, right? So you can give it a title, but then the first abstract based on the title isn't going to be great. It's going to be average. But then you can feed ChatGPT with the introduction to your paper and improve the abstract. Then you can feed it with, for example, the methodology of your paper and improve it. You can give it some of your results and improve the abstract. You can give ChatGPT the conclusion to improve your abstract. So that's the second thing. Step by step, you know, improve the abstract with ChatGPT. Number three, you want to give it specific instructions exactly what um, ChatGPT should do. When you saw like the second version, what I did is I just told ChatGPT to write a research gap as the first sentence before the aim in the abstract, you know, based on the introduction. And it did that really, really well. So when you give those specific instructions and you follow the step-by-step -step sort of iterative method, you're going to get a really, really good abstract. It's actually quite scary how good this is. Now, if you've enjoyed this video and you would like to get some human help publishing your research paper in top journal, then schedule a free one-to-one -one consultation with my team where we're going to go over your main challenges and your goals and give you a personalized plan that will help you to achieve those goals much faster. And you can schedule that free one-to-one -one consultation right below this video.